Good morning and welcome to another week of short devotionals for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. And this week we're going to be focusing upon the valleys of life and what do we do when we're going through a valley in life. In Israel, on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, there's a, a canyon called the Valley of the Shadow of Death. And in his day, King David probably traveled through that valley many times. Some of the canyon <clears throat> canyons along the road to Jericho were narrow at the bottom and as tall as 800 feet. The only time that you could see sunshine at the bottom of the canyon was at noon when the sun was straight overhead. In the Bible, va valleys are often a metaphor for times of darkness or despair or defeat or discouragement in life. Psalm 23, verse 4, David writes, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, because you are with me. The Bible teaches that God is not just a part of our mountaintop experiences. He's also with us in the valleys of life as well. There are three things that we need to remember about the valleys of life. First of all, valleys are a part of life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 11, the land you will soon take over is a land of hills and valleys. Valleys are inevitable. You likely just came out of a valley are in the middle of a valley right now, or you're headed into a valley right now. There is no way to avoid the valleys of life while you're on this earth. Instead of avoiding them, you should count on them. Secondly, valleys happen to everybody. They're impartial. Good things happen to bad people, and bad things happen to good people. We live in a fallen, broken world, and so we have problems. Nobody's immune. Nobody's insulated from pain. Nobody sails through life problem-free. The Bible says the good man does not escape all troubles. He has them too. But the Lord helps him in each and every one. Psalm 34, verse 19 in the Living Bible. So valleys are a part of life. Valleys happen to everybody. And thirdly, valleys are unpredictable. You can't plan them. You can't time them. Problems typically catch us off guard. In fact, your valleys and your problems usually come at the worst times, when you don't have the time for them, when you're not prepared, when it's inconvenient for them. Wouldn't it be easier if you could schedule all of your valleys when you've caught up on your sleep and your health is good and nobody's bugging you? But you can't do that. Life doesn't work that way. Proverbs 27 and verse 1 reminds us, don't brag about tomorrow, since you don't know what the day will bring. When you know what to expect in the valleys of life, you know how to better prepare for them. Keep trusting in God's presence and God's provision, and he will see you through. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Join us again on Wednesday as we continue in this topic. And until we meet again, let's continue to exchange prayers daily. God bless.